Come on, Chi-Chi. Hi, everyone. Again, we're up north. We've been pretty much coming almost every weekend. And, uh, and yesterday I was trying to record yesterday. I was trying to show you the mushrooms I found. But we end up finding this little cat that kept chasing us and coming after us. And we thought that this cat was lost or didn't have a home. So we were so worried about it that we were trying to bring her home. Him, sorry, not her. Uh, trying to bring him home so we could either find a home for him or my sister was going to probably take him. Uh, but it ended up that the cat belongs to someone up here. Well, we were so worried because he really did look like he was lost. And Erica was worried and uh, we were ready to uh, make plans for that little guy. But today, hopefully we're not going to see him out here because my husband said he saw him in front of somebody's home. Uh, there's a neighbor not far from the trail that owns horses. Yeah, well, this side here, it's all wooded, but it's still their property. So he must have crossed the wooded area. And then, well, today, yeah. But what I do want to talk about today is, my daughter was showing me a video, and it rings so, tr so true that Today, everybody thinks about what can I get next? What can I have that's bigger than what I have now? Uh, it's become a world of material. And what we should really do is really stop. Just stop and enjoy what nature has for us. That it's free. Basically, all of this is free. We have... Chichi, where are you going? My dog loves it up here. And it's just a matter of saying, you know what? It's enough with all this material stuff because number one, it costs money. Number two, some people can't even afford it. So they put themselves in debt for it. And all you really need is something very simple that could actually put a smile on your face. I believe that when you're in nature, nature is so magical that uh, there's nothing greater than that. Especially, look at this in the fall, all the changing of the colors. The maples are turning. The evergreens, especially after yesterday, we had some rain last night. Actually, it was beautiful during the day, but come three o'clock, it started to rain. And it made everything, look how bright it is. Everything is so bright and moist and wet. And hopefully whoever lives up here this week is going to be able to find some mushrooms, which is free food. That's the best part. And what I really wanted to show you also yesterday was, Erica, you want to show what I was talking about? This is the seedling. This is the seedling of those beautiful pods that I cooked over the, over the summer. And... Now they're all going into seed and they're blowing around and wherever they land, they're going to plant, they're going to grow new plants for the butterflies. And yesterday, if I could ask my daughter to send me the video or the, uh, the image, there were butterflies landing on her. They must have... I thought the butterflies were gone, but it was so nice yesterday. I guess some butterflies are still around, but uh, it was so beautiful to see. So these are the, the pods that we did not take because remember, if you're going to take some of the pods, I say uh, when they're young, I say take only a few, don't destroy the plant and let the rest go to seed so we can have more plants for the butterflies and for us too, because they're so beneficial. Hey, Chi-Chi. My dog loves it up here. Hopefully he won't get any ticks this weekend. But, uh, yeah, the air is crisp. And this is the perfect time, really, to go for hikes because the heat doesn't, doesn't break you down when it's hot. Not only are you tired hiking, but it just drains you. 
and wet. Look how beautiful. And with the uh, the cooler air, Erica, we have to find that container of food. And with the cooler air, uh, you're able to. Not sure, Erica. Uh, you're able to do. Uh, an animal could have taken it. I think it's around here past this. We brought a can of um, a container of JJ food for the cat because we thought the cat was a lost cat. Uh, I wanted to show you the mushrooms that we've been picking, the only ones that we've been really finding. Uh, I call them sticky buns. <laughs> uh, it's. Um, I wish I could find some so I could show you. Erica, would you take Chi Chi? JJ, will you take him? I'm going to let him come to you, okay? Good boy, JJ, give him a treat. Uh, I wish I could find some to show you. I call them sticky buns. That's not its true name. Let me see if I could find a couple. Uh, I love them. The only thing is that you have to peel back the skin. And maybe if I'm lucky, because as it gets colder, we're going to have less and less mushrooms. I mean, we'll still get some mushrooms, but less and less of a certain variety. Uh, yeah, let me see if I could find some for you. I call them sticky buns because the top is very sticky and all the leaves and the twigs get stuck on it. Do you see any sticky buns, any of those mushrooms? But if you peel the skin back on top of the mushroom, and cut off the stem if it's over because you know the bugs like to go into the stem uh, if you cut that back and you remove the uh, the sticky part of the mushroom uh, you actually have a very delicious mushroom and maybe we'll come across one of those mushrooms as we as we walk the trail but, uh, oh, here's one. Here's a sticky bun. There it is. Okay. Notice how everything is stuck to it. So what I do is I just pinch off the bottom. And then all I do is, before I cook it, I just peel back the top part and chop it up and fry it. Eric, I'm going to need a bag, love, if you could pull it out. Isn't this trail beautiful? and my daughter and my doggy yeah really beautiful this place is just magical this trail believe it or not is connected to the great trail the great canadian trail um if and we know that the americans have some beautiful trails uh, this one here my dear takes up to three years to complete it two to three years if you want to finish this trail you're going to be on it for two to three years. And I'm not talking this part. This is just a piece that used to be a train track. And they turned it into uh, the biggest uh, walking, biking trail. And it goes from one town to another town. But it is connected to the, uh, the Canadian Trail. The Great Canadian Trail. So I would love to do that. Oh, here they, here's a little sticky. Is it the sticky? We'll see. No, these are not stickies. I'm not sure what these are. And if I'm not sure of the mushroom, I do not bring them home to eat. But I'm sure we're going to find some stickies. Sticky buns, I call them. Hey, Erica. But Beautiful, eh? No, but look at it. It looks brown. Beautiful. The rain magnifying... See? Beautiful, eh? Yeah, it could be the leaves. Yellow maple. Not a sugar maple, but it's a yellow maple. But yeah, I mean, you gotta love coming up here. You gotta love going for a walk. Nature gives you enjoyment that costs you nothing. It really doesn't. And if you can't afford to have a country home or a cottage, uh, there's so many places that have small huts that you can rent 
Uh, now near La Belle, they've uh, built some small huts. People could go there. They could rent a hut for a day, two days, whatever time. And you could spend, even if it's just one day that you come up here or anywhere that has nature. Uh, it's free. JJ, no, 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 don't do that. We're going to have to pick that up, eh? What is that? Huh. Why do people litter? Erica, we're going to have to bring that home. Yeah. Why do they litter? Oh my God, I can't handle that. It gets me so upset. You know? That's one thing about it is leave it as you see it. Don't leave things behind. If you're going to go into nature, don't leave litter. No leave no trace, exactly. But yeah, nature is beautiful and it just relaxes you. And besides relaxing you, it gives you a good workout and it keeps you healthy. The air is so fresh. My daughter keeps saying, I have to pinpoint the smell. What is that smell? She keeps telling me. She tries so many times to reproduce the smell with candles and oils, essential oils. But you never really get the smell. It's just, you never really get it. It's so... Nature, nature, I mean, it's, you can't reproduce this, no matter how hard you try. Looks like we're not going to bring home much mushrooms today. And if they're too buggy, I don't want to bring them home. I just can't do the buggy thing. A lot of people, what they do is they cut them and they dry them up. And all the bugs come out of it. And then they... Uh, they have just the mushroom left that they use in soups, but I can't do that. It just psychologically messes me up. I'm not good in, I'm not good with bugs. Look at this picture right there. Erica, hi. I want to take a picture. My granddaughters love it here. They call this the mystical forest. I have, my daughter Erica actually has a video of them running through here. <laughs> and look what Erica just found. Look what Erica just found. These poor little guys are freezing. Oh my god, are they going to die? I need to know what happens to these butterflies. Do they just die? Did he miss his window to fly away and he's stuck here? I don't know. Hey. Eh? Hi, little one. Are you cold? I bet you're cold, eh? Maybe we should put her in the sun. Yeah, you want to? Let's put her in the sun. She'll warm up. Just take the whole branch. That's what I'm gonna do. She's gonna try and fly away. Hi. You're so beautiful. Put her in the sun. Look right there. On top of the uh right there, look. Go right in there. Nice and warm there. Further up, Erica. What happens to butterflies? Does anybody know? Do they normally fly away? I gotta look that up. But yeah, my granddaughters love it here. And they love it where it's all mossy. They just throw themselves on it. My daughter Erica took some nice pictures of them. Come JJ, this way. I'll find the spot. Anything that's got some mossy spots, they go crazy for it. Like this section here. They just throw themselves on it. Beautiful. There's another mossy section here. There's one up there. They love lying down on that section over here, way back. There's another, another mossy section. This is a plantation, as you can very well tell.
And that there is where my granddaughters love to throw themselves on. We come here and we sit and we have a bite to eat. Now where's my Chi-Chi? Hi, JJ. Don't bring home any ticks, JJ. But we love it here. Erica's trying to warm up a butterfly. Hi, Eric. So nice and warm over there. Hey? Yeah. Come, Chi-Chi. Come, JJ. Hey? And if we walk all the way to the back, uh, we end up seeing the Red River. Beautiful, eh? Look at that spot right there. How beautiful is it, guys? As beautiful as my daughter, Erica. Erica. Hi, sweetie. She's so excited. Do you see how excited my daughter is when I call her? It's like, okay, here she is with that camera again. Ma, leave me alone. And she's wearing my father's jacket. My father's been gone a long time ago. But she loves that jacket. She also has his name. My father's name is Ercole, and my daughter's name is Erica Lee. Yes, Erica. Come, Chi Chi. This couple I follow, they live in Nova Scotia. They live on a farm. Yeah. Look at the greenhouse shed he built. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I did a lot of mumbling, but obviously nothing got recorded. I just want to say thank you, guys. Look how beautiful and spectacular this tree is. And Erica says, have a good day. And Chi Chi says, have a good day. Erica says, have a good day. What, look what you're doing to me. Chi Chi, you're getting the rope between your legs. And I'm going to say thank you guys. I love you. Go out. Enjoy the weather while you can. If you're not one that goes out in the winter, this is the perfect time to go, especially when we get weather like this. Put a nice little, I'm wearing a hunting jacket. You put a nice warm sweater and you're good to go with the sun beaming on you I lost my daughter where are you Erica go out and enjoy life guys forget about that new toy that's give you just that temporary Erica! Hello. Those toys just give you a temporary happiness. This. What's wrong? This will always be with you. Go back. I'll wait for you. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Got a wolf turkey. Okay, guys, have a good one, and I'm gonna see you in my next video.
For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.